Hello and welcome to the very first part for Borderlands. This is a game I've been thinking about doing for quite some time. Um, I went to uh, a gaming event, space around PC gaming and indie stuff, and Randy Pitts had actually done like a, like a sort of developer session thing for for Borderlands 2, and it's made me think about how much fun I had with Borderlands 1. So I really wanted to do like a walkthrough for you. I think it should be pretty good. Um, we're going to be doing some episodes up until the release date of Borderlands 2. Um, I'm hoping to do about two to three a week, depending on whether people want to see more, maybe. I don't mind. Um, also, want you to leave in the comments how many you want to see, how long you want the parts to be. I'm losing my voice a bit. Um, so that'd be really cool if you just let me know, because I want to know what you want. I don't want to keep sort of forcing episodes on you. If you want three a week, then that'd be cool. If you want more, that'd be cool also. So yeah, I'm very, very excited about this game. I'm really excited. To see I, really, I can't actually remember what really happens. I know... Actually, I finished the single player story, but I didn't actually finish like the side quest or any of the so, DLC. You want to hear a story, huh? I what do. What about treasure hunters? <laughs> Have I got a story for you, Pandora? This is our home, but make no mistake, this is not a planet of peace and love. They say it's a wasteland, that it's dangerous, that only a fool would search for something of value here. Then perhaps I am a fool. But do not be fooled by what Pandora appears to be. There was a legend. Many people tell it. The legend of the vault. My father would always go on about the vault, even with his dying breath. Advanced alien technology. Infinite wealth. Fame. Power. Women. So you can understand why some little kiddos who hear the stories grow up to become vault hunters. Well, I have a story you may not believe, but I tell you it is true. The legend of the vault is real, and it is here on Pandora. And the uh, hell, yeah, let's call her a guardian angel, appeared to guide the vault hunters to their prize. The tale begins right here, on Pandora, with the brave Vault Hunters, the Guardian Angel, and most importantly, me. So, we're going to be a Vault Hunter. And the intro starts with a very sexy landscape, full of sand. I think it's based on like a nuclear sort of, sort of not zombies, but get the point, it's completely like been battered apart and there's a skid. Maybe he's quite a mental Resident Evil face dog thing. <laughs> Such a cool intro this. It's just like casual, it's nothing too serious. Music like mate like music in the background and stuff, it's just really really cool. Gearbug software. This is a game that when it came out people weren't that bothered about. Um, they were like, this won't sell, and it was really, really popular, and it's a really, really good game as well. It's definitely worth All checking right, out. Baguette, time to wake up. <laughs> it's a beautiful day, full of opportunity. So that's the four cats as we can pick. Hunter. I think it's Hunter. <laughs> Embarrassed if I get that wrong. He was the character I was in my first playthrough, so I won't be him, even though I really enjoy being him. I'm tempted to be her. Um, it's like a, a siren, I think, it's, that's how you, I think that's how you say it. And this is like a normal sort of soldier, which I think is fairly boring. He looks like quite a boring character, so I'm tempted to sort of stay away from him. Brick looks really cool. He looks like a potentially really cool character. I might be saying like that in Borderlands 2. It's, it's one quite similar. So we've got that skid on the front of the car. That's, I'm guessing that's dead. Um, Jesus, okay. Thank God it's not in 3D, because that'll be land right in our faces. Next up, Firestone Depot. Time to gather up your stuff. <laughs> Who's getting off the bus? Right, this is the time I have to pick. So I said I might pick the siren. siren. This sounds like a really cool character. The specials are really cool. Soldier man, are those armor pieces from the crimson lance you're wearing? And what's your story, young lady? What can you do? Uh, I think I'm gonna go with her. Don't be alarmed. Ooh. 
Stay calm wow. what and don't allow that anyone is talking to you. Jesus. Start making your way off the bus. You don't have any reason to trust me, but I need you to believe that I'm Do here we to trust guide her? You. I'm here to That's help the question. You see her quite a lot during the game. By a funny little robot. Do everything he says. You'll know what I mean. I'll contact you again soon. This is definitely one of the most best characters in the game. This little robot. Well, we're here. <laughs> Don't worry about saying goodbye. I'm sure we'll be doing this all again soon enough. Oh, really? <laughs> what does that even mean? Get off my bus. <laughs> oh, man. Some of the humour in this is really cool as well. It's really, it's just really entertaining to play. The dialogue's really, really good. You don't get that much in games, like actual real humour. You get it in like Portal or something like that, but it's very rare. There's Claptrap. See you next time. <laughs> Welcome to Firestone. I am CL4PTP. You may call me by my locally designated name, Claptrap. Before continuing, please accept this echo communication device and heads up display, provided free of charge by the Doll Corporation. Great, so that's sinking all of our health and stuff. Health, weapon, ammo, etc, etc. So I think I've got a pistol to start with. And as you can see, we've got levels at Great. the bottom. I detect that your echo device is fully functioning. This way, please. Oh, nice sound. So as you probably expected, the left sticks to move. The right sticks to look around. Do a 360. I've done everything. Why is it got still that thing in front of me? There we go. Step right up. This is the new U station. When you use this device, your DNA profile is automatically identified and stored. Please activate the new U station now. Right. So this is like basically where we... I think it's like a save point basically. If I remember rightly. I'm just going to change a few things. Maybe they are like white. Yeah, I don't know actually. Perhaps black might be better. It doesn't matter. You don't really see it that much to be honest. That's pretty cool I think. Pretty sexy. Oh, so that's saved it. Now that your DNA is registered, you have the best in horrific death and dismemberment insurance. Should an unfortunate fatal incident occur, your new you will appear at the nearest station. Now we can head into the peaceful town of Firestone. Yeah, I'm guessing it won't be very peaceful at all. <laughs> you can probably guess by the surrounding area and all the weird safety signs. Whoa. God, where they come from? Do we fire at these guys? Oh Jesus! Oh, we won't leave a vehicle, don't we? We get a vehicle later on. Ooh. Is he shooting at me? I think he is. You wait. So I get through this gate. Are, are they gone? <laughs> Those bandits really have it in for us claptraps. Using us as target practice is not part of our programming. And open! I've just seen some stuff in this little hut that we could have missed. I think it's just money in here. Yeah, just a few dollars. It's useful for buying new equipment, health packs and things. So yeah, see the little numbers bouncing off. I think that, that's probably one of the coolest things I love when that happens. Basically it's like a... Basically, gives you a really decent clue about what the hell's going on, which obviously is very useful. Oh, am I still getting shot at? Oh, I am. By a very silent gun. There we go. Basically, there's things in absolutely everything. So, <laughs> hope it doesn't get too annoying me looking around, finding stuff. It's not the most entertaining thing in the world, but... The dollars will become useful later on. That's why I'm doing it. Well, hopefully we can move on. Let's clap out. Oh god. Whoa. Oh, 
Okay, das ist okay. Hm. Das ist I guess the attacks do improve. This gun feels pretty sweet. Just some money on the floor. What's really health about? Because my health went down a bit there when I tried to use my melee attacks. It doesn't seem like there's any health. So this is the box normally that has loads of weapons in it. Which is pretty sweet. So it's got damage 10. Uh, right. Okay, I think I might go for this one. Please wait. Alright, so that's we've got a pistol. So I'll just go through. So that's got I think this might have a decent aim. It does! Okay, we're going this way. Basically, it's just B to crouch. Remember that quite well. Another little savey point thing. Oh, jeez. Oh, perhaps we can jump over. Oh, we can. Oh. Right in the face. Yeah, basically, you want to try and aim for the, aim for the face all the time. Especially when it gets to the heart of enemies. Because I have tons and tons of health. Just goes on forever. Obviously, you've got to try and level up. Oops, press A instead of X. Oh, some health, that'd be useful. Whoa. See you too late, my little friend. It's a clap chapter, you're just running straight through all the enemies. Oh, what's this? That's just ammo. Nothing that useful. Four more volts. Volts. <laughs> oh, right in the face. That laugh's quite freaky when she kills someone. Oh. I love the. Also, one of the selling points for this game is the amount of weapons it has. It's just countless weapons. I like that girl, but I'm not sure if I trust her yet. Do you trust her? I don't know. Um, oh god, what do you want? Attention, citizen of Firestone! There is no cause for alarm! This new visitor has resolved the problem! Well, shoot, I thought I was a god at that time. Damn bandits won't leave us alone. Had to lock the place up tight. I'll let you in. Come on! Damn it! Blasted circuits are on the fritz again. Give it a go from the switch out there, would you? Alright, so this is where all the missions come up. This will be potentially where we get like a nice little selection and hopefully you can sort of decide where I'll go next and stuff. Um, now that you've selected a mission, you will notice that a new icon has appeared on your heads up display. That's a waypoint. The waypoint will tell you where you need to go, depending on what mission is currently active in your mission log. Ooh. Okay, so that just tells us the little waypoint is the little green diamond, um, which is obviously pretty useful. Dot to Z, I think he's called. Oh man, what's he gonna do with that? That looks like a very weird device to use. Oh man, this cat is really freaky as well. Up again. The name Zed. They don't let me cut on folks anymore since I lost my license, so. Now I keep the med vendors around here up and running. Oh, from good. the vendors, you can buy all the healing you could ever want from a real doc. Thankfully, without the fault is a myth you'll get yourself killed lecture. I keep the medical equipment working, more or less. Okay, well, this just gives us a little bit of experience and we leveled up as well. So that's the next little mission we have to do. Now that we're done with all that, please follow me and I'll open... Oh, these nice little. The gate for you. Okay, that's pretty cool. So every time we level up, it gives us a nice little boost of shield. If we're struggling, as you say, it helps can up there a little bit as well. 
I think that increases over time. I'm not 100%. Um, I think Claptrap's going to open this gate for me. I think. Have I gone too far ahead? I'll go. <laughs> Speed up! Got those bandits again. Oh, shit. Claptrap's fairly unlucky in this game. Oh. Okay, so taking me off. There we go. Onto the ship. I'd like it or something. Looks like he got under nine toes skin. Don't worry, he'll get what's coming. Oh, clutch up so good. You did it. I knew you were the right choice. Oh, the poor little robot needs our help. Would you kindly give him a hand? Fair enough. I'm sure we can help Claptrap out for a bit. Oh, where's the way? Oh. X to use. That little robot is hurt. He isn't going to last very long without attention. Oh no! Why don't you look around for something to fix him up? Okay, that's really close. See the highlight there by a the little green diamond. So useful. Right, let's hopefully we can repair Claptrap and he can open the door for us. Oh, so I've sent you to experience, that's pretty sweet. He's gonna go up. He is. Hey. Good as new, I think. Am I leaking? He seems leaking. to be okay. Now is the time to get moving and play your part. I love how he opens the doors. Just taps away at the keyboard. Alright. This place doesn't look very safe, does it? I think we need some sort of vehicle. Oh no. Here comes more. More of the skids or whatever they're called. Oh man. I wonder if these will be back in the old Borderlands too. Critical. Right, is that five? It is five. I'll see you in a few. Right, let's just. Where's the oh, just in here? So we've got to speak to the guy again. What can I do for you? Hello. I might not have a med school. But when you get shot, cool. Number you get happy I'm here. Except that's the next mission. And that will conclude this part. Oh shit. That's a quick look in here. I'll just health. Oh, nice little toolbox. As I said, we've got to pick up all the cash we can find. And there, it's just a weird. I think that might be where you pick up the health eventually. So that will conclude this part. I hope you enjoyed. As I said, make sure you leave a comment below saying like what you want to see next. And some reason some fireworks going off outside my outside my house. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you press that like button. As I said, that leave a comment below what machine you want to see next. And how many parts and stuff you want to see. And come back soon. Thank you.